Good morning. Today we'll be going over how to use a microscope and prepare a slide. So to start, let's prepare a slide. Here we have some that are uh, concave on one side so that if you wanted to study something living in water, you could put that drop in a little well on one side and it'd have a little bit of mo room to swim around. However, we're just working with onion skins today, so we want the flat side. So, the very first thing we want to do when making any of these slides is start with a drop of water. Next, we need to procure our specimen. We're going to be using onion. You want to tear off the skin from the inside. You want it to be as thin as possible, and a hunk that big is plenty. So then you want to place it in your water. Then we will be staining it blue with methylene blue dye. This is the thing that you would want to be careful with during this lab because it will quickly stain your skin and hair and clothes and basically anything else it touches. We just want to put a single drop of that on top. And what does that allow us to see? That is going to stain the DNA and so it is going to stain the nuclei dark blue. So let's add another drop of water to make sure it gets on top. Another one for this little end over here. Now I'm going to add a cover slip, which is a very thin square of glass. I'm going to kind of tilt it from one side, that way as it lays down it squeezes out all the bubbles. Oops, there we go. Now we have some excess fluid <clears throat> on this slide, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw off some of that. That's going to give us a better view of our specimen as well. I'm just going to put that chem wipe right there. You can see the dye being pulled out from underneath of our cover slip. And if you want to get a little Get rid of a little more dye and make sure you have the best view of your specimen. Put another drop of water on that side. And you can see it is being pulled underneath that cover slip and across to the chem wipe, washing away excess dye. This will give us really good high quality images of our cells.